Good morning and assalamu alaikum. I am here with my channel a Splash the Knowledge. Today I will give you understanding about how to teach your child the reader or the storybooks. Different schools are using different readers but being a teacher I would uh, prefer you to teach Oxford readers to your child or to your kids. These are very helpful as well as innovative books. It has different series. However, I am going to uh, start from the stage one readers. But before starting, before star uh, starting the proper reading, you have to keep it in your mind that how you will uh, uh, teach your kid actually. Um, being a teacher, I have uh, listened a lot from um, my parents from my kids parents that uh, teacher uh, um, uh, teaching of one two threes and ABCs are quite uh, easy for us but uh, we don't know how to teach these uh, readers to our kid uh, so this is very simple and uh, yes the same situation and the same problem is faced by me as well and when I was not a Montessori teacher and I was not a trained teacher so it was uh, also a bit difficult for me to teach uh, these uh, readers the big number of the 12 or the 6 readers to uh, even the uh, kid of 4 or 5 years old so so it was a bit difficult for me as well when I was was not properly trained but after getting training complete training uh, now it is very easy it's it's quite easy for me to teach you the Monte City kids just keep it in your mind that every book every every reader is not only uh, for to decode to read the words yes it is uh, uh, it is correct up to some extent that the readers are actually the main purpose of the reader is actually to decode or to read the words to read the sentences but each and every reader is not for uh, to decode you can use it for a different purpose like as you know this is the series of um, uh, six books this is the pack of six readers in one pack for uh, this is for the uh, age group of three to four years like for the play group students mm, so um, uh, and but when you will read all these reader you will you will know uh, you will come to know that it has uh, five characters um, beef chip floppy mom dad five characters beef chip floppy mom and dad and um, so one of the book from it you can use it for the correct recognition one for the vocabulary words one for the tricky words one for the side words the oxford readers has also wordless books also it has also a series of wordless books so uh, but that was for the very small kids like the age group of two or two and a half years but I have taken the stage one readers over here before starting uh, proper reading you have to keep it in your mind that you have to properly read and observe the cover page of the book the back page of the book the book band you can see on the back uh, page of every book here will be the number and color band this is the pink band the pink color band or uh, or book band one pink this is only for the beginners you can see at the back of all these readers the pink pad look you can see at the back of all these books the pink color band it means that this is for the age group of three to four years old like for the beginners the play group students for the play group learners you can see all these six books has pink color bands so all these readers are for the playgroup students so before reading completely see completely observe the cover page the back page the color band the publisher the authors of the book and read the book from page one till the last page of the book okay i will uh, do some more activities some more reading activities which will be helpful for you people but today i'm just um, giving a review type uh, on these books uh, because uh, 
before uh, properly starting the reading it's very it's necessary to know how to teach your kid because this is not an easy task to taught the reader to the small uh, kids like the age group of uh, uh, three to four years or whatever the age group will be like for the but for the Montessori kids to uh, teach the reader is not an easy task it's a skill once you will uh, know the skill it would be very easy for you so for this time uh, this was all about the Montessori readers in the next video inshallah